Right at the top of the show, I want everyone to remember, do not forget to watch Thursday night breaking news later on tonight. The following to Thursday night football, it's Thursday night breaking news with Sean's View Entertainment. But the follow-up, the, the lead into that is what we're doing right now, right here this morning on the Brash, the Brazen, where we explore. We're going to give you the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most definitive WWE to fill you in. And make sure that you're up to speed and up to date on everything WWE. Now remember to become a channel member today to help secure my future on YouTube.com if you want me to remain on this very website. And let's just jump right into it. AEW's Warner Brothers deal leaves ROH TV on Honor Club as true TV involvement is uncertain. And as we all know, Chris Jericho will battle for the reigning ROH World Championship as well. And you can only imagine what that match is going to intensify with after what Chris Jericho said last night. Did anybody, uh, did anybody last night here watch AEW Dynamite? And if you did, what did you think about it? And good morning to everybody there. Also, WWE still following long-standing Vince McMahon rule after his departure. Despite his exit, McMahon's influence remains. As Triple H ushered in a new era, many of McMahon's uh, stringent rules were scrapped and canceled. However, Dave Meltzer recently revealed on the Wrestling Observer Radio that one of McMahon's most notable rules being the use of the word belt is still being enforced even with McMahon gone. Even with Vince McMahon gone, they can't say belt. They brought out new belts and no one can say the word belt, Meltzer explained, including that some of McMahon's edicts still remain deeply ingrained in WWE's operations. Also, ladies and gentlemen, this is according to Ringside News, the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters. While Vince McMahon faces the legal consequences of his actions, his legacy continues to shape WWE's corporate culture. Whether or not his influence will fade remains to be seen, but for now, certain McMahon-era rules persistent despite the company's leadership role. Also, breaking news on WWE champion Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes believes that Netflix deal will elevate WWE to mainstream sports status amid boom period. Do you believe that to be the case? Ladies and gentlemen, with your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. And remember, it is all about your interaction because you make sure and view flow, as they say. Backstage chaos with CM Punk. Uh-oh, what's going on there? Uh-oh, was this bound to happen? Was this going to happen? Well... It is being revealed right now. Backstage chaos revealed by CM Punk before his stunning Survivor Series 2023 return. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Also, AEW's shockwave was never meant to be in the WBD deal. And I guess that's going to be yet another show. CM Punk details intense WWE contract negotiations before his shocking Survivor Series return. And yes, that is all being revealed online by the best in the world. CM Punk, what are your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on CM Punk? And how do you feel his first run back from his return after over a decade away has been with the WWE? Are you for CM Punk? Are you against CM Punk? Do you think that it's a good thing or a bad thing that he is back in the company? Will Ospreay is set to defend the AEW International title in a three-way battle at Wrestle Dream 2024. Kenny Omega sets his sights on a possible return match during his injury hiatus. With your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, Sammy Guevara enters concussion protocol after a very scary AEW pre-show incident uh, that had him stretchered right from the ring, right out of the arena. Uh, obviously not the kind of thing you want to see out of a wrestler, especially when they put it all on the line. CM Punk is unveiling original plans for his WWE return. Yes, original plans for his return to the WWE. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this one. And I followed all the CM Punk updates. When everybody else said he wasn't going to come back, when everybody else said I was wrong, when everybody said I was fake, when everybody said I was clickbait, when everybody told me, Sean, you're crazy. You keep reporting CM Punk's going to come back. CM Punk's going to return. CM Punk's coming back to the WWE. He's not coming back, they told me. They said, stop talking about it. Stop reporting about it. Well, I stood true and I kept hold and I, I grabbed that sucker. I, I grabbed that storyline. I grabbed that headline because I knew it was going to happen. CM Punk said the following, well, when we first started talking, it was just like, okay, you know the typical rumble. You come back for the rumble, right? But me being creative that I am, 
I was immediately just like, yeah, I get it, but that's what you do. That's what you do with everybody. Everybody gets that. And that was a gift. And that it was a gift. Survivor Series is in Chicago, and it's just in three days. So apparently CM Buck was originally going to be at the, make his, day, make his return at the Royal Rumble uh, this year. I guess it would have been this year. But obviously, uh, you know, stranger things happen in the WWE. As they say, never say never in world wrestling entertainment. But ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, that's not all. Because there's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of gossip online concerning the WWE. Are they going to be under a microscope by the feds, by the FBI, especially with what's going on with Vince McMahon? Is it going to be interrogation? Is there going to be people questioned? Is there going to be people going to jail besides Vince McMahon? Is anybody going to be looked into, searched into? Is there going to be any warrants for arrest? Is the WWE going to be under that microscope? You can only imagine what the WWE is feeling like. Now, the WWE thinks that they're all well and good because they got rid of a lot of the different variables and a lot of different of the characters and personalities, the people that were involved in this whole debacle, this whole controversy that is rocking the WWE because with Vince McMahon out and with all his yes men out of there, you know, you still got to look at certain people like the game Triple H. Did he have anything to do with it? Stephanie McMahon, did she have anything to do with this whole controversy and conflict revolving around Vince McMahon? And there's a lot of there's a lot of people that are walking on eggshells and worried that the WWE itself could face uh, something harsh, something that they don't want to do. And it w would not be a good image for the WWE because, again, Vince might be out. Vince may no longer be in there. But the WWE obviously worked as a weld oil unit under Vince McMahon. We all know Vince McMahon's impact on WWE. So for the M for the FBI to get involved, and I always say, call the FBI. Call the FBI. If anyone knows my older videos, that was the uh, soundtrack to show and view. Call the FBI. So, uh, again, though, um, it would be a very trying time for the WWE uh, obviously, if they would, if they were to be searched, if they were to be under that microscope, and you know, has the WWE dodged the bullet? Though, has the WWE ultimately dodged the bullet? You can only imagine, uh, you know, what that would do for the WWE's future and psyche if they uh, were to be raided or shut down. Again, guys, there's a lot of different things that can go into this. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. A lot of speculation and gossip on that this morning. Also, Julia is being criticized for the over-the-top appearance in WWE. Why is Julia being criticized for all these things? I, I, I think people are looking too, too deep into this, to, to be quite frank with you. Also, we are receiving word right now in bonus coverage. CM Punk believed that he was done with wrestling after his firing from AEW. CM Punk felt that that was it, that it was over, that was the end of CM Punk. But obviously, it may be just the end of the beginning for the best in the world because CM Punk has shown exactly what it's like to be the best in the world on his return to WWE. Also, Shelton Benjamin's shocking AEW debut, The Hurt Business Reunites. Absolutely unbelievable, along with MVP. And you know that next step is going to be Bobby Lashley. You can only imagine what that is going to be like. And now you got to wonder, is this going to boost up AEW's morale? Is this going to boost up the, the ratings, the ticket sales, the buy rates? Is this going to have any sort of long-term importance with MVP, Bobby Lashley, and Shelton Benjamin in AEW? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Remember, if it weren't for you, there would be no show and view. Subscribe, click the bell, and make sure to become a channel member today to help save me on YouTube because I can't do it without you. Plenty more to come. Subscribe.